Hello everyone and welcome to the final stage of the Intel Extreme Masters Season 1. We are down to the last four players. We are in the final grid um, and we are starting this one like we started the group stage of these finals with a um, human versus night elf on Turtle Rock with close spawn positions. This time it is Fire, the German human here in yellow in the top right spawn position. He ended up on rank 1. Of Group A, very surprisingly, I guess, uh, in front of Todd Grubby and Lily C against Todd, the Ukrainian Night Elf player here in blue in the top left spawn position. He ended up on rank 2 of Group B behind Creo, but in front of um, Deadman and DD8. So, um, Hot without half first, Ancient of War everything as expected and fire with Alta first as well if you want to make it really simple if any of the four remaining players uh, that is fire creo hot and tot is able to win three best of threes in a row right now that would be the winner bracket semi-final winner bracket final and one best of three in the uh, grand final then they would or the player who's able to do that would be the champion of the intel extreme masters but of course you can also uh, become champion here even if you lose the first uh, or if you lose one best of three. So, uh, Demon Hunter, one Archer, AM and uh, Militia immediately heading towards Hot's spawn position and Hot is gotta be thinking, is this really happening? And the answer clearly is yes, it is really happening. He's building a second Archer here before his uh, second move finishes, trying to do some blocking with the Wisps and the Archer, but I think the damage output should still be high enough for Fire to get that second Moonbag cancelled. As I said, he skipped Wisps, therefore he's gonna have two Archers out as well as the DH. And uh, yeah, he's gonna have to use those as good as he can. We do see a miss here, so he's skilled Evasion first. So um, a bit of a change from all the previous attempts by the other Night Elves we've seen so far, I believe, who have all gone for uh, Immolation first. This is gonna make the moon juice a lot more efficient, but of course um, it's gonna have a little bit less damage output yet a lot more ability to tank. The second moon is gonna be cancelled again, but fire is taking a lot of damage as well against the tree of life here as uh, Hot is building is trying to build the moon right next to it. Another footman is already going down. Uh, Demon Hunter already level one and a half AM didn't get any XP so far. New militia are joining the water mantle is the next target here. Uh, one tower not yet being upgraded. Fire does not quite have the lumber to do so yet. He doesn't have a lumber mill as well, so we're gonna only see uh, a kind house at least for now the second move again is gonna get cancelled and hot is not able to produce any more archers at the moment therefore ancient of war has been uprooted and he's gonna have to use that one to uh, you know defend by having it fight and not uh, produce more archers at least for the moment another two moon has been produced down here and this one is gonna come up which means hot's uh, maximum supply capacity is going to rise up to 30 therefore he can be uh, he can uproot this Ancient of War again and produce a couple of um, couple of archers. Two wisps getting surrounded here, but one of them actually gets out. Demon Hunter once again is taking plenty of damage. So is DAM. Uh, tower up here has been cancelled by the two archers. Only one peasant was remaining to repair. Demon Hunter has to escape the base. At least for now, though, nighttime has just started. And therefore, the moon wells will start regenerating moon shoes right now. Another wisp is going to be picked off. Uh, it's actually detonating in time. Getting rid of a little bit of mana on this AM. Of course... Uh, not as easy to do for him as he doesn't have mana burn, at least he didn't have it until he reached level 2. I'm not quite sure about uh, the circumstances now, he hasn't used any mana yet. I think he wants to get uh, as much health out of these moonwares as possible for his demon hunter. Plenty of uh, peasants are around here by fire, but only a few, um, a few footmen. AM at the shop, I'm assuming he's gonna wanna get dust boots, probably not. He cannot really afford spending that much gold on you know, an item like that in a game like this. Two footmen very low, only two of them healthy remaining for fire. One of them is being picked off. Dean Hunter level two and a half already. The Arcane Tower just started upgrading. The AM is back. We do see another footman heading across the map. But the uh, fire has taken so much damage on all of his footmen. And at the same time, he has given Hot the time. Uh, hold that thought for a second. This is going to be cancelled. He has given Hot the time to produce up to five archers already. And uh, now with the new militia coming with the dust of appearance, he really has to do some significant damage against these archers to win himself some time. 
to uh, perhaps get a tower or two up, but uh, as I said, he's really gonna have to do significant damage. Dust used by the AM, so far no, none of the archers has fallen, first one is now going down, AM is gonna have to run away here to either force his DH to waste a lot of time chasing him down or, uh, you know, to have the DH stop doing damage to him, another archer is being picked off, but level 3 for the DH already, town portal is being forced here, wow, he was so close to killing this, this AM with a mana burn, but uh, fire just pulled the TP in time, getting another archer killed, but Hot has defended this pretty well here, especially given how long he had to work with only one moon, well, uh, two Ages of Water up right now, DH is level 3, and Hot should be, uh, only three archers, maybe he can produce like two more, and then he should be all set to uh, attack. Fire on the other hand, super low on his AM, super power building the um, Arcane Vault right now. He's gonna have to use that one, of course, to get uh, Scorpion Regeneration and maybe um, Clarity Potion as well. Archers are in front of Fire Space, though he's trying as the peers. To uh, cancel the score of regeneration, gets a cancel on one of the footmen, not on the AM yet, which would be more important. Uh, DH yeah, with the boots, with the town portal still looking pretty strong. And f uh, Hot is actually going for a Hunter's Hall, so maybe given that he already has the two Ancients of War, uh, he might just want to go ahead and uh, continue staying on uh, tier 1. The Demon Hunter is getting into the back of the human space, and is he just going to be able to auto attack the AM? into the ground, he is trying to do so, let's see if is Fire able to trap the Demon Hunter here, yes he is, the AM escapes, there are no archers or anything outside of the base to continue doing damage, more militia being called, Fire really needs to make sure to not let the Demon Hunter escape here, but it looks like the DH is trapped, he does have uh, TP, going into the back, into the small choke here, which only allows two militia to continue attacking, but he decides to town port immediately, nevertheless, uh, Water Metal continues blocking the base here, Fire, is safe for now, but what is the follow-up here? That's the question. Hunter's Hall has finished. Still no tech for Hot. He's getting the first two hunts already. Three archers out. Um, DH level 3 as previously mentioned. And Fire does have three footmen and a huge load of militia. But, you know, militia duration only lasts for so long. Demon Hunter right now sees that Fire is heading towards his uh, main base again. And Fire is going to have to yeah, put all his eggs in one basket right now. It is... Break the night elf right now or lose the game. Uh, Hot really needs to make sure not to get surrounded here. If he doesn't get surrounded, then this is great. He's wasting so much of Fire's time. However, if the Demon Hunter gets surrounded, then it'd be great for Fire. So it's all going to come down to how successful this is going to be. The archers in the meantime are being chased away by the AM and a couple of footmen. First two hunts doing, starting to do a bit of damage on the AM, which is, uh, which could in, uh, you know, when looking at, uh, the long-term success of this push uh, also affect fire hugely so peasants already have to fall back here five footmen out in the field right now but the demon hunter with the uh with the evasion look at all the misses he can take so much damage here the am is in trouble he really needs to block here because the dh still has the boots while the am doesn't and fire is not able to block successfully here so the next hit should kill the am and that should be okay or the mana burn Oh, the mana burn kills the AM, and that should be the game for Hot, who successfully defends um, with close positions against the human pressure here early on. Fire, I believe, um, took a little bit too much damage, or way too much damage, uh, when he cancelled the um, attempted moon wells by Hot, which were being built... Uh, right next to the Tree of Life, I think he could have microed his units a little bit more carefully, attacked the Moonwell from the surface that wasn't right next to the Tree of Life, uh, to not lose like the two footmen immediately when the push started, and he, um, you know, therefore lost a lot of damage output, which gave uh, Hot the time to get some Moonwells up, to get eventually a second Ancient of War and plenty of archers, which was enough to hold. And uh, yeah, Hot did that very nicely which um, wins the first map for him. Pretty straightforward uh, tower push, so I guess not m much uh, strategic detail to go into. And the second map will be uh, Secret Valley.